Hi. So, um, as part of this week's lectures, we're going to be talking about grep. We're also going to be talking about regular expressions. And if we get time, I'm going to talk about uh, a couple of tools that we can use um, basically for working with the file system. So, um, grep is a fantastic tool. It's basically sort of control F for your terminal. So, you can type in a pattern that you want to search for, and you can search for that pattern inside files. It's a little bit different from using find or using you know other things like that because we are looking inside files. Okay, um, so with that in mind, I'm going to bring this over here and I'm going to open my terminal. So um, with this one, what you probably want to do is um, find a copy of cars that you can work with. Um, I have it on my matrix account and you can copy it in to your matrix account or you know find it wherever um, so I'm just gonna do this right now and uh, let's do that so what you'll notice is uh, with the dash n option I can number the lines and we can use this just to basically follow along with um, what we're gonna be doing Okay, so we've got a copy of our cars there, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to move in this other window. I'm going to go and um, just start running some grep commands on this on this file. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to type in Chevy and cars. So you notice um, the first thing is uh, we are using the command, obviously. Um, the first argument I'm going to give it is a search pattern and the second thing I'm going to give it the second argument is going to be the file name that I'm going to be searching in okay so I run that and you'll notice I get three things back three results and so we can see that Chevy has been matched and then it returns the whole line by default but you don't have to do it like that um, the first thing I'm gonna do is show you this option I'm going to add a dash n and I'll run this again and with the dash n you'll notice that it's also giving us the uh, line number and we can see how well that matches up on the other side of the screen. Let me blow that up a little bit so you can take a look. Um, so we've got line 1, line 10 and line 11 being returned. So the one thing you'll probably notice is uh, what we're not getting back is anything on line 6. So let me change this search pattern. You can take a look. Okay. So the takeaway from this is that uh, the grep command is case sensitive. That means when I'm searching for Chevy, I am not searching for any of the uppercase variations of that by default. Um, so we can change that. I'm just going to go back and change this to Chevy again. Um, and what I'm going to do is add a new option here, the I. Okay. So I run this and uh, you'll see that uh, we're getting back some things that we, well, now we're actually getting back four results. So the takeaway from this is that the I is going to be ignoring case. And that means we're going to be searching for you know all the variations with uppercase and lowercase so that's very handy so you can see we've got four results here uh, four lines were returned um, another way of looking that at that is with a C option so let's run that so as you can see the C is just going to count the number of results and it's just going to give us back a number of the number of results that we can expect to see. So if I do Toyota, we can go back here, we can see that there's two Toyota uh, results being returned. So moving on to the next option that I want to show you. Uh, I'm going to take this, I'm going to change this back to Chevy, and I'm going to change this to a V. So we return this, and maybe what I'll do is turn on the line numbers so you can see which ones are not being printed. So we've got line one, line three, line four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 
um, and you'll notice the ones that we're missing are these guys. So the V option, as you can see, is going to be inverting the search pattern. So basically we're returning all the lines that do not contain the line or the pattern Chevy. Okay, so now on to one of the last options. Uh, for this what I've done is I've moved into a sample directory. Uh, you might have something similar to this in your matrix after having uh, worked on assignment two, um, but just to show you what's inside. Um, there's a bunch of things that probably look fairly similar, um, and you can see I've got a bunch of different versions of the cars file here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move into sample directory, and I'm going to run this grep command again and what I'm going to do is give it the R function or the R option and um, you might remember this from uh, copy and R um, remove uh, R is going to do a something recursively and what it means in this case is that uh, we're going to be searching in many many files so once again I am giving it um, the search pattern Chevy and instead of searching in a file that I specify here, I'm going to give it a location. Okay? The location that I'm going to give it is the current location. And the way that I can indicate that is by just using the one dot. Okay? So this is what it's going to look like, and we can see what we're going to get back. So what we get back is a list we're also getting back um, all the lo different lines. So you can see cars.old, we see two results. In the file cars, we see two results. And then we basically search within the tree and we look under sample directory, Stenton, Gen Ed, another link, and we also get more results. So you can take a look at the, what that's looking like. Uh, sample directory, Stenton, Gen Ed, another link. So, an interesting thing to see here, this is a link, this is a soft link, or a symbolic link, uh, to another file, but we're reading into that as well and getting back a result. And so, another way that we can work with the recursive search is uh, with the C option that we worked with before. I'll just change this to ignore case, right? Um, you remember this before, what this was returning was just a number. Um, so if I run this again, what you're going to get back is a long list of files that we searched in, and it's going to return back a number. And most of these are zero, uh, but some of these actually have results. So cars.link, we get three. Over here we have another three. In cars we get three, and all that kind of stuff.